Hello everybody, my name is Smarty, short for Smarty, we do welcome back. Today I'm going to read Chapter 5 of Mallory Goes Green. It's called Presentation Time. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications, so to turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. And also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. Presentation time. I look at my watch for what must be the 30 millionth time. This has officially been the longest day in the history of Fern Falls Elementary. In my opinion, Mr. Knight did not make a good choice when he decided I would make my presentation at the end of the day. I don't know how I made it through math and spelling and social studies. So, what are you going to tell us about your project idea? Pamela asked me at lunch. Please, says Marianne. We really want to know. I press my thumb and forefinger together and draw a line, a draw a line with them in front of my mouth, like my zip, my lips are zipped. I'm not giving away anything. Not to Pamela, not even to Marianne. During science, Mr. Knight asked us to open our books. I look at my watch. I think that that makes it ten three million and one times. I cross my toes that it will be my turn when he gets through talking about rock formations. Finally, the time arrives. Class, we're going to end our day with something special. As all, as you all know, Mallory is our class representative on the environmental community committee, and today she has prepared a special presentation. Mr. Knight nods at me like the floor is mine. I pick up my briefcase and walk to the center of the room to take my to talk to my class. I open my briefcase and take out my note cards. I begin with note card number one. Fern Falls Elementary is going green. On to note card number two. It is exciting that we are because it is very important to help clean up our world and our school and make it a healthier place for everyone. I look down at note cards 3, 4, and 5. I have a lot more prepared to say about the environment, but I think about Max's advice about keeping it short. Plus, my class has already heard from Mr. Knight and Finn, Mrs. Finney uh, how important it is for all of us to go green. I decide to skip some cards and go straight to what I really came to say. As all of you know, Fern Falls Elementary is having a green fair. The theme of the fair is the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Every class has to come up with a project that they are going to do at this at school that either reduces, reuses, or recycles the trash that we make at Fern Falls Elementary. The project will be present, presented the night of the fair. Everyone starts talking at once like they have ideas about the project of what the project or class is going to do. A few kids raise their hands. You can put your hands down, I say. I will probably answer your questions, and if you still have some when I'm done, then you can ask them. Danielle rolls her eyes. You're not the teacher, she mumbles. I ignore her because it's kind of like I am the teacher. I'm the class representative, so I'm the one in charge. I know you're all excited about our project for the fair, and I am too. I, In fact, I'm very, very, very excited because I have a great idea for our class project. If I had a drum, now would be a good time to roll it. I take a deep breath before I tell the class my idea. For the green fair, our, we're going to... Don't we all get to decide what we're going to do, Ariel asked without raising her hand. I ignore Ariel's question, since I already said no question. For the green fair, our class is going to design and sell going green t-shirts. They'll be so cute. We can take orders and everyone can buy them. Then we can donate the money we make to an organization that is committed to improving the environment. I don't even wait for everyone to clap. Instead, I keep talking. There are lots of organizations we can choose from. I've already done some su I've already done some research on the internet. I know you're all as just as excited as about this as I am. We should get started immediately. I smile at my class. I feel warm and glowing on the inside. I nod to everyone so they know that it's their turn to clap or whistle or do whatever they want to do to show me how much they like my idea. But there is no clapping or whistling or anything else. I don't like that idea, says Pete without raising his hand. Neither do we, says Ariel and Danielle, like they're one person and not two. Designing t-shirts doesn't have anything to do with the three R's, says Zoe. You're totally missing the point of the project, says Danielle. 
Pamela shakes her head like she doesn't want want to say what she's about to say. Mallory, making t-shirts doesn't reduce, reuse, or recycle anything. That's what this project is supposed to be about. We should plant a garden, says Grace, or collect and recycle bottles and cans, says Zach. Kids are talking all around the room. This this was not at all the reaction I expected. I give Marianne a you're my best friend, so please tell everyone how much you love, love, love my t-shirt idea look. She just shrugs her shoulders and twir- twirls her hair with her around her finger. I look at Joey to see if he wants to help me, but he's doodling something on his notebook. I'm not sure why they picked now to twirl and doodle. I just need to explain my idea a little bit more, and everyone will love it. But before I have a chance to explain, the bell rings. Class, we will continue this discussion on Monday, says Mr. Knight. Everyone will get a chance to share their ideas. Then we will vote on the project. When Mr. Knight finishes talking, everybody starts grabbing books and backpacks and heads heading out the door. I pick up my things and to leave, but Mr. Knight stops me. Mallory, I appreciate the work and thought you put into your presentation. I know you are very committed about being on this. Com- I know you are very excited about being on this committee. But not only do I want you to think about your idea for the project and if it focuses on reducing, reusing, and recycling, but as a class representative, I also want you to think about the importance of being open to other people's ideas. Do you understand what I mean? I nod my head like I get it. He smiles. Good. Then we'll discuss the project more on Monday. I put my backpack on my back and pick up my briefcase. I understand what Mr. Knight means about how important it is to be open to other people's ideas, but I think what he doesn't understand is that is that what my class needs to do is be open to my idea because it's a really good one. And on Monday, I'm going to show them just how good it is. That's the end of the, that chapter. I'll see you next time when I read On the Ball. Bye, everyone.